come back again, guys. Now he's here. And for today, we're gonna play as it, as my suspicions were right. So there was, as you guys remember, last time we did play Dr. Kruger. So tonight, I mean today, we're gonna play Benson. MES Corp with the, uh, he with and his relationship with MES Corporation. So I'm not I'm not sure what the story is about. It is about uh, him getting into the MES and he's gonna be with the friends also. So let's just start the game. If you enjoy, yeah. Now accepting donation Dino nine nine seven. It's Shadow Hall. If you can't donate, please consider leaving 5 star strating or recommend this game to your friends. Okay, you guys do that. I know it's been 3 three years since he made the game. But please guys, support the guy and help him to finish the game. Or donate at any project he's making. I'm gonna minimize it a little bit. A little bit. Not much, okay? Uh, how about I put it uh, there? Maybe this level is enough. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's just try it there. Musicnya ke. Suaranya itu kegedean, guys. Okay, dia lagi. Uh huh, okay. Well, that's good animation. Anyway, I like this kind of game. So, warning the game contains jump scares, flashing imagery, and other horror elements. Please refrain yourself from playing if you believe it can affect you in any way. Okay, you guys remember that. If I click the menu, click enter advanced dialog, and blah blah blah. Yeah, this is the instruction guide. Space, advanced dialog, about selecting choice. Person and key, screenshots. Uh huh, okay. Cheezer, a new headache. I've got two from blah blah blah. I very much regret to inform you that we have a giant new problem. Just as we suspected that human is still you okay, that human is still alive. That's all it says. And the thing we have long been searching for is on here. Kindly let me know how to wish how you wish to proceed. Best regard, the chaser. Tonight at ten. I will see you at the same location we always meet. Message sent. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. Here we go. Then nine 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 six. Present. Okay, what what are you presenting us, Dino? Yeah, that's too much of this these sounds also. Sound volume, text volume, music volume, the music volume. Gonna... Should I hide a little bit? Or oh, just leave it there. Go get an ajikito. Move it there and there, yeah. Okay, good, good. Oh, we ha we don't have any history at the moment yet. 
we just thought okay it is believed that where do you believe personal hot taste are false straw experiences okay personal taste but then we are first born we are no different than a ball of clay as we journey through life we constantly change being shaped either by traumatic traumatic events or mundane mundanities or everyday life even if it's something as trivial as the food you eat the coffee you buy or the time you clock into work uh-huh i am drinking coffee also at the moment those and assuming little things they alter the past to our fate without us recognizing it and of course when a person loses their memories their origins are gone what okay but there is one thing that i always linger at the back of my mind what would happen if someone gains memories that don't belong to them uh-huh okay i would love to find out what they become okay mau tahu he wanna know what they gonna become okay okay he was talking to us really my head it hurts yeah it does hurt how long have i been asleep being barely able to withstand the pain i forced myself to sit up okay where are we looking where where am i that i was what are you all what I saw was a luxurious bedroom embell- embellished in excellent choice- choices of a fall straight with lavish and upscale decor scorning in the face of modesty. Okay, what happens? We are in a luxurious place, I guess. I struggle to recall anything, but how I ended up here. My phone. Where is my phone? I frantically reach into my pocket. But it wasn't there. Shit. What should I do? What on earth happened here last night? How did I end it up here? Hmm. Okay. I... Can you guys subscribe for the pictures? <laughs> okay. Anyway, I guess I'll look around first. Maybe something will help me regain my memories. Object. Determine where you are. Uh, tips. Click on objects to investigate them. Uh, and you, you can end your investigation with the bottom button in the top right corner. Okay. A string of contrary artwork on the wall brighten the room each of them vying for attention uh -huh, okay there is nothing there is no evidence we found yet just a bed but feels very comfortable comfortable okay just a bed what about the drawer maybe we can find it pulled open the drawers next to the bedroom i mean bed this travel guide and i guess that's uh, okay g4 travel travel guide side of eyes from expert dino okay dino i skimmed through some of the cards the content consists of place called curate articles and photography of a local attraction mm -hmm.
we got we collected one of the evidence let's get the second one okay this is the log shovel guide Maybe the log can help us in some way i think everything seemed oddly quiet outside the window there were only leaves rustling to the rhythm of the breeze all i could see in the distance was a boundless expense of a mount of mountains blanked and forest stretching as far as the eye could see collected everything the view hmm okay you got the fourth of the evidence is there anything else you can investigate yeah nothing investigation complete as you're making a thaw inspecting all of the room i return to the take to the take the travel guide out from the drawer quietly i quickly flipped through it and found map included on the very last page there you go guys there is a lot of stories going on here judging from what i've seen so far and probably in g4 seriously guys help dino to finish his story the whole story of all of the district each district gonna have a story we were in g2 with the doctor kroger and now we are on g4 with what's his name edward edward something vincent vincent edward the g4 travel guide i have it in my hand was likely prepared by the owner of the house or guests staying in this room. If that's the case, I would have to be in the G4 district. Yeah. However, G4 is not a small region. To get firm more grasp of my predict predis, predicament, I have to calculate my calculate myself and be more specific. Which part of the G4 district could be could I be? Huh. Pretty not sure in industrial zone or the docks, the city center, but the outside where a lot of green here. Yes, so it's a suburban, suburb, suburban. I guess. Okay, we are right. Ah, okay, there you go, guys. It wouldn't make any sense if I was in a city. All I saw from the window was a vast terrain of forest, and there wasn't any traces of other buildings in proximity. Okay, I like how they did with the layers. I know for sure there is multiple layers in this in this view, and as you can see, guys, if we went a little bit to the side or up and down. It gonna it gonna give you the feeling of a 3D dimension, which is this is really good. Good game, good game, Dino. I mean Dino, Dino, Dino. That how you call him? I don't know. A place is isolated quite enough that a pen drop could be here. Has to be in the suburbs of uh, G4. Yeah. A lot of green also. G4 support. How did I end it up here? Yeah, how did he, he end it up here? I felt myself getting more and more bewildered. Suddenly, succession of foot while outside my room interrupted my thought. Is someone in here? Should I go check it out? <sighs> I don't like it. Tips. Make sure to save regularly. You want me to save? Uh, okay. Let's save. Uh, you need to save. <laughs> I don't like it. There is probably something outside there. Since the game wants what ought to save. Very soon. <laughs> Leave the room and investigate, stay and continue 
to your rest. Shit. Which one should I do? Which, which one should I go, guys? What if I stayed and continued to rest? What's gonna happen? Oh, headache. It's unbearable. I think it would be better for me to rest a bit more. It could be dangerous to investigate while I'm this worn out. So no, no need to rush. I lie down, nestled into the velvet bed, and tucked the blanket snug over me. What? What was that? Did you guys see it? Soon I was asleep before I realized. I had I never had the chance to wake up again. Really? I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 What the what the frick was that? Is that it was that the thing that at the corner of the window that I did saw it. Frick, here we go. He died. Game over. Really? Okay, let's load from where we left and yeah, make sure to save it regularly Okay, this time we're gonna leave the room Leave the room and investigate Okay Okay, you better go out Get my head, it hurts But it would be a waste of time for me to stay here Maybe the person outside knew something I got out of the bed and made a beeline to the door to the door. Okay. What is this? The lobby was shrouded in darkness. All I could faintly discern were the counters of a bar room set up in front of me. Really? A bar in the center? A bar counter. A possibly, a possible scenario is that I pass out here after getting drunk. It could be a hangover. Yeah, it could be that. Really, a bar outside. Yet, but judging from my surrounding, I highly doubt that a bar is where I am at right now. To me, this place seems more like someone' residence. Whose house could? this possibly be then i have no i have no clue uh, okay behind me i had the stomping of something approaching at the accelerating tempo at an accident striking my eardrums with heavy precision that were almost de deafening as it continued to grow in strings and my racing heart bed began to resonate with it. What is going on? Cautiously I looked back. <gasps> okay, okay, motherfucker. What is the what is that? Frack. I don't like this. This the scene in front of me is unutterably atrocity a disfigured face half slid over with the flesh blood oozing out from its remaining clothes making a small puddle on the floor right it is this corporation bludge eye in felt is filled with the content while every broken calibrated calib hey. capillary and ba battle extended across the sky Spiral. Okay, and whatever, guys. The only thing that even looked close to human. Okay. Was it forced contract? Con contour grin. Okay. Leave lever guy. Backed away quickly and was able to see the full form of the of this creature. <laughs> Blood was gushing out from every three of it 
look looking like it could collapse into a pile of land. Oh my god, okay, okay. Waving its claw in the air, it snarled at me with an unfathomable. Okay, okay, okay. What should I do? I don't know. Get out of the house. Attempt. What if? Run back to the bedroom. Oh. Attempt to attack. Oh, fuck. We are dead. Are we dead? Good. I have to attack. I grabbed whatever object it was in the table, backed off for a good distance, and flung it. But with my deliberate headache, I hardly had any strength. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, I don't know why this. It didn't seem effective. What? Wait, are we? Oh my god. What now? <laughs> no, okay, we are dead. This is the second time it killed us. We shouldn't have attacked it with our current situation. We don't have the strength to do that. Especially with the headache also. No, don't play about load. Yeah, load. Love saving over there. Okay. The secret. Vincent. Okay, Vincent. This is a good start. A good start. Load. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna yeah leave the room. Uh huh. We should leave. The room. I'm just gonna yeah. Okay. Wait, what? what? Should I do? Oh yeah yeah. Okay okay okay. We can pass forward, guys. What if we got out out of the house? Wrong. Then. What do you mean? I run. I have. I have to run. I have to get out of the house. I swivel right around and run as fast as I could. However, the enormity of this house had me running in circles. With the lobby blanket blanked dead in darkness, I quickly lost all sense of direction. My head was still pounding and my limbs were getting weaker and weaker by the second. Frick. The last thing I heard was the stomping, closing and... Oh, frick. He's near us. We are dead. <laughs> we know it. We are dead. Unfortunate. Okay. Let's load again. I'm gonna go. Okay. Leave. And then fast forward. Uh huh. I know. I know. I'll run back to the bedroom, I guess. Eh? How's this gonna be? Okay, there is no way I can fight this thing with my head. I need to hide. I sprinted back to the bedroom, slammed the door, and locked Ted as fast as I could with my remaining strings. Oh, okay. <laughs> we are dead, dead. I held my breathe family as the monster banged on the door, trying to shred it apart, stifling my audible panting. Okay, finally, we are safe. At least for a little bit. Until we figure out what we need to do with that thing. Okay. Eh, it's gone. On my safe now. I tried to regain my composure in increments. But I am trapped here now. What should I do? The stress had me overwhelmed. Well, I don't know either. What should we do, guys? Oh, my headache. It's unbearable. I think it would be better for me to rest a bit more. I'll figure out how to get out of here once I feel better. I lie down, nestle into the velvet bed, and tuck the blanket snug over me. But at least this time, we did close the door. Family. Oh, what time is it now? Slowly I open my eyes. What? Who are you, man? I like with those eyes. I was greeted by a figure sitting in the darkness at the edge of my bed, staring at me with his eerie eyes. Uh huh, okay. Wait, wasn't. Okay. Did the, did the room color change, guys? 
For some reason, I was amused by an easiness. He was amused by my ease. Relax, my dear. He laughed. I was simply demanded by the owner of the mansion to keep an eye on you and make sure you are not causing any trouble. Mansion. I'm in a mansion. How did I get here? And who exactly are you? I gave him a wary glance and cover more of my body with the blanket. Uh -huh. Who am I? With his head tilted, he looked at me, seeming entertained. My name is Victor Blake, and I am good friends with the owner of this mansion. Victor Blake. Victor Blake. Uh huh, okay. Hello, Victor. I calmed down and thought to take a closer look at this man. But his hand. He was wearing a tasteful black booty bow tie and had a vibrant but the most striking part about me to be his unusual eyes and arms. Are those mechanical prosthetics? Well, as for how you ended up here, I am personally quite curious about that also. So he has no clue how I got here either. Oh, okay. What else should I ask him? Mm. Should let me see. Just a case, guys. Who is the owner of this mansion? You mentioned that you were not the one who owned this place. Who is the owner then? Uh -huh. The owner. His name is Vincent Edwards. Okay. Vincent Edwards, you said. How should I put it? He is quite an adorable man, yet could be extremely dangerous at the same time. Vincent Edwards. Hmm. For some reason, his name rang about the bell. Have you been watching me sleep this whole time? What happened to your eyes and your arms? What was that thing? Uh... The owner done that. What was that thing? Oh my god, should I go with that? We already done this. Yeah, yeah, we already done this. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. The owner's name is Vincent Davis. Okay, you gonna give us the same title, guys, if we keep um, choosing the same option? What was that thing? Did you see that red? Why? What kind of blood oozing out of its body? Uh -huh. A monster. He seemed puzzled. Oh, let me guess. You are talking about the cyborg. Those cyborgs, huh? Yeah, we call them cyborgs. And there's more than one of them. Hmm. Don't be sorry, my dear. They are just Vincent little pets. Uh-huh, pets, you say. That thing almost had me for dinner. Yeah, what are you gonna do about that? What happened to your eyes and your arm? Have you been watching me sleep this whole time? <laughs> Indeed, I have, my dear. Okay. In fact, I am getting quite envious seeing how peaceful you slept. I felt my cheeks warming up despite having no familiarity with him. What happened to your eyes? And your arms. What happened? To your eyes and your arm. Victor went silent for a moment. Well, what can I say? There is things in our life that don't always go our way, huh? He shrugged his shoulders, smiled, and my question seemed to be soon forgotten. Okay. So... We, uh, if we did ask him all the questions, let's end the conversation then. Nothing more. If Victor does not know how I ended up here either, then there is no need for me to keep asking him questions. Well then, I guess it's time for me to take my leave now. I left the, the booch blanked to the side and got out of my bed. 
please thank Mr. Edward on my behalf for, for providing me with such a nice room. I start to make my way toward the doors. Uh -huh. May I ask where you are heading to, my dear? Victor looked at me with a curiosity. Where I am heading? Well, I'm heading back, back to you. I felt my hand tightening on the door handle like a vi a vice. I struggled to come up with a respond. This response. Where am I going? Where is my home? Realized that I had not 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 simply forgotten what happened last night. I had lost all my memories. Frick. Um, Vincent, the secret of the Emirs. Leave a like and subscribe. Comment also, guys. And don't watch the game until the end if you don't want to. No name, no cash, no ID. I'm not even in a position to be vagabond. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, darling, please don't be so distressed. Well, that's up to you if you want to be a vagabond. You have to realize losing your memories could also be a blessing. Countless people are imprisoned by their own memories. They try their best to let go, yet cling to them at the same time. But you, on the other hand, are given, given a second chance. Isn't that wonderful? I'll be honest, even I am getting a bit jealous. I see where his point is coming from, but seriously. What could be worse than being homeless? I say again. Okay, Victor, how many times do I have to tell you? Quit smoking in the mansion. In my mansion. Oh. Uh -huh. You like smoking? Well, well, well. Speak of the devil. If it isn't my dear friend Vincent. Okay. Vincent, so he's the owner of this mansion? Madame, if this perverted man has caused you any trouble, I could call the police and have him arrested right away. Hmm, I think I'm good. Thank you, though, I responded awkwardly. Are those two really friends? Vincent, may I ask if you are the owner of this mansion? Indeed, I yeah. am. He smiled. My apologies for not introducing myself properly. My name is Vincent Edward, and I am the owner of this mansion. Vincent Edward. Hmm. They are close friends. May I have your name, madame, and the reason for your visit? The reason for my visit? So, I was the one who came here begin with. Hmm. I I wasn't sure how to respond. Uh -huh. It's a shame, Vincent. It appears that our guest has lost all her memories. Victor came to my rescue. Hmm. hmm. Is that so? How interesting. If that's the case, shall we decide on a new name for you then, madame? You like it when the game asks you for a name. A temporary name would be better. Well, then what should we... What should my name be? I'm gonna call. I'm gonna go with Nori. Yeah. That's even better. Should I go by Nori? Yes, you should. Please, call me Nori. Amazing. Amazing. Very good. It's my great pleasure to meet you, Nori. You seem a bit distressed. And I'm assuming you have many questions in your mind right now. Is there anything I can try to help you with? Vincent might know something valuable that will re reopen my memory blank banks. Should I ask him? Hmm. How did I get here? Yeah, how did we end up here? Mr. Edward, 
Please tell me, how did I end up here? How did you end up here? No, I will get you informed that I don't know either. He doesn't even know. Nor. Vincent, nor. What's, what's his name? The two is my butler, the one who heard peculiar knocking sounds on the door last night. Mm, nor Victor does know, both of them does not know the reason. When he went to open it, he saw you face down on the stairs, unconsciousness. Unco unconscious, okay. Since we know nothing about you or the reason you were here, we decided to place you in the guest room for the time being. Vincent Ward sent me deep into thoughts. Why on earth would I come? To her mansion, to this mansion. What was that monster? I know today I saw some sort of creature I've never seen before. Something that seemed half human, half robotic. What exactly was that? Oh, my dear Roy, I love you too. That you already met one of my friends. But promise me, would you? Do you refrain from feeding them? If it isn't their meal time yet. Uh-huh. Okay. I guess I would be a fitting appetizer for them, am I not? Did I bring anything with me? Yeah, did I have anything on me when I arrived here? Hmm, speaking of that, you did find this in your pocket. He handed me a business card. A business card? The card was mostly unrecognizable, except for the huge M-shaped logo. MES Corporation. It says MES RDG4. 48, 10, 8, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4. MES Corporation. I found it where I have heard of this name. Oh, okay. How was I own a business card on some of someone working there? What is Emia Corporation? I looked up and asked. Hmm. Emia Corporation is a world's famous mechanical engineering corporation based in in the in the G4 district. Said Victor. Okay, Victor, answer our question. It is also the first company that was able to develop a highly flexible mechanical prosthetic. Prosthetic, okay. But unfortunately, this company was forced to declare bankrupt due to a horrific incident that took place five years ago. Five years ago? Okay. A horrific incident. Hmm. The G4 cyborg incident. Vincent seemed displeased at even the mention of it. The G4 cyborg incident. What happened? Both Vincent and Victor fell silent, fell silent for a moment, as if they were debating if I should even carry the knowledge of this event. Hmm. In January 20. 80. January 2020, a notable number of citizens mysteriously went missing in a single week. In a single week. Uh huh. Back to your final start to speak again. They disappeared without any signs as if they had evaporated into thin air. No wells, no corpse, no blood stains, not a single trace. Okay. That's weird. But there was one thing those people had in common. They were all last spotted near the G4 district. Uh-huh, okay. Hmm. 
who would have enough power to make hundreds of citizens appear in the same belief? There is a reason for that. Naturally, the police suspected MES Corporation, a mega international monopoly located in the G4 district. Nonetheless, MES Corporation refused to admit that they had any in involvement in these matters. After a year-long investigation, the police ends accidentally discovered a secret chamber located in the basement of the corporation. Ah. Inside the chamber, there were groups of cyborgs. Ah. Isn't that the thing I saw before? It would be unnatural for you to assume those cyborgs were the missing citizen. But the truth was more gruesome than that. What? The truth of those missing citizens were used as cattle feed for the side. What the frag? Oh, okay. Now, how disgusting that. As for where the cyborg themselves originally came from, nobody really knows. Even in light of this discovery, MES Corporation still firmly denied the fact that they had ever granted permission for such an inhuman experiment. Okay. With the help of an attorney, one innocent employee was convicted. Okay, that attorney is good, I guess. He was sentenced to life without parole, yet the company itself was free from any charge. Okay, he was sentenced to life without parole. Okay, who could do such a thing? Two months later, the attorney suffered serious injuries from a vehicle accident and was one step away from getting killed. Within the same year, all core members of the MES Corporation were found brutally murdered. Okay, all of them died. The behind the horrific incident is still unknown. Okay. To this day, people still mysteriously vanish in the G4 district. R rumor says that the spirit of the victims from the experiment are still wandering the, the street, taking the lives of those unfortunate enough to cross paths with them. Oh, it, so it, it is dangerous to stay outside. To walk outside. That's okay, why he's staying silent. Okay. I guess there is more to that. Victor sorry sent shivers down my spine. I was not expecting such a chilling urban legend from the G4 district. Victor, may I ask how you know all of this? The answer to that is simple. Victor laughed. Both Vincent and I are former employees of the Emirates Corporation. Victor, I must say that I am quite impressed by how much you have comment commented the story to Mimi. Vincent said sarcastically. Ahem, ahem, okay. Victor tried to cough it off. He glanced at the clock on the wall and seemed to be a bit troubled by the time. Uh huh, well, well, sorry, time's over. I shall take my leave now. Vincent joined me to a drink at the pub tomorrow night, won't you? 
and it was a pleasure to meet you, my dear Nori. Victor left the mansion. After that, Vincent helped me settle into the guest room. I thanked him and then returned to my room to get some rest for the night. Okay, I guess it's time for us to take a rest. It was around midnight and I was quietly lying in my bed with my mind racing. I kept thinking about what Victor told me, the missing key for citizen, the cyborg in the basement, and the mysterious MES corporation. I took the card out of my pocket and scrutinized it under the moonlight. Why was this all I brought with me to Vincent Machine? What exactly do I have to do with the Emir Corporation? Ah. There's something that is the Emir Corporation itself. Okay, we are object enter Emir's Corporation. We should enter the Emir's Corporation, I guess. Steps. Click on the arrow to move around. Any items you collect will be shown in the top left corner. You can speed up the scene transition by double clicking. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <sighs> Looks like no one is here. Is there anything other than the arrow that I can click? Nothing, I guess. Let's go in. Huh. Oh, okay. Nothing here. Looks like I. Looks like the main gate is locked shut. I'll have to find a different way to get in. Wait, what? What? Who? who what was that? Okay. Uh huh. What this? Located in the G4 district, MES Corporation as is an innovative company and research institute specialized in application of mechanical prosthetic. Okay. The founder, Mr. MES, believed that the reason why humans have become a dominant species is because we were given the ability to innovate huh. and the application of such ability should be used not only in tool me making but also in amplification of mankind advantages. therefore MES cooperation is committed to redefining the bla the balance between machine machinery and human body and a large number of MES employees have undergone some degree of modification as a result they ex exemplify excellent working abilities and are for these three for this reason more competent competent than other than original people than ordinary people okay you guys murderer murderer okay and yes murderer that's what the crafty says but uh right what this looks like there is a black a, there isn't that what was that wait wait a second i shall He's way faster. Oh, there you go. Is that Dino? Oh, hi. What's up? Sorry about that. I was busy with my work and didn't see you there. Oh, okay. His work. Your work? Seriously, man. Work? What kind of work? Yeah. Let me save first. Before something happened. What kind of work? Who are you, man? Work? What kind of work? Yeah. 
So I guess th- okay, there's something wrong with this dude. Oh, I'm a janitor. If that he wasn't a parent. You can just call me Dino. Okay, Dino. Dino? Dino? I like calling Dino. Dino. Yeah, Dino. My job is to keep this place absolutely spotless, not leaving even one trace, one trace of dust. This guy is outstandingly suspicious. Why would you sweep outside them? Yes. Yeah. Why would I? Do I really need a reason for that? What if I just, just enjoy it? A janitor who enjoys his job, but a quite unusual. I know you should call you Dino, but I'm gonna keep calling you Dino. Uh, what do you have to do with Amias Corporation? Yeah, that's nothing that Amias Corporation. Nothing really. I'm just a janitor. Uh huh. I didn't catch your name. What was it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Tigan. Isaac. Noel, Odachi, blah 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 blah, but seriously, just call me Dino. I'm gonna keep calling you Dino. You know, you really resemble Mikhail M. Yes, right? Yeah. You know, you really resemble Mikhail M. Yes, right? Okay, we are getting to know about the developer a little bit. Good catch, miss. In fact, I am a Mikhail M. Yes, no. Number one fan. Oh, okay. Do you like Mikhail? His graceful and elegant modesty is something all of us should aspire to. Why did I ask him something like that? Okay, let's end the conversation, I guess. We did ask him all the questions. Okay. You know, come to think of it, MES cooperation is pretty amazing. Even though it has been abandoned for over five years, you can still find new garbage here every day. Uh, okay, new garbage. What do you mean? Mm, you know, all kind of garbage. Sometimes you find cyber cups, and other times you can find new, new gra- graffiti of, or posters. Just all kind of weird stuff. Huh. I guess the company is using its employees' bodies also. Dino response only produced more question in my head. Abandoned for five years, yet still having new things shows up every day. Hmm, there is only one explanation for that. What? That is, Emius Corporation is not entirely abandoned. Okay, yeah, it is not entirely abandoned. To know for sure, I need to find a way to get it, to get in. Dino, do you know if there is a way to get to the into MES Corporation? Hmm, about that. From what I have heard, MES Corporation has a secret employee passageway. They have a passageway. Maybe something around here can reveal the entrance, but that's all I know. A secret employee passageway. Objective Investigate alternative employee passageway. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Same dialogue. So, uh, what I meant by earlier that the company gave more chances, not chances, like they help their employee in a way that to make them, to make their abilities go above the ordinary people. If you guys understand what I mean. But I guess we, that's not the password for the door we need to find out what is the password I guess let's go to the site a little bit more U E M R D some random English letters and numbers 95721 is this some kind of encode message what is trying to say wait 
the murderer the murderer what okay okay it has in seven nine seven seven then nine then r two seven nine seven nine two one seven nine two let me okay this is okay a little bit harder to to remember two okay it ran for that graffiti shouldn't you i have a bad feeling about this well you just click on it i don't know if i want to get any closer yet Okay, nothing more. Looks like the main gate is locked shut. I'll have to find a different way to get in. Yeah, we have to find a different way to get in, I guess. Nothing outside. So let's get... Let's just go forwards. Let's get back to the graffiti. That's the, co uh, the end code. Hmm. Okay, that, that one. Well, that's the message, guys. Murder that the end code. Murder. Murder. Make sure you guys remember the the letters. Yeah, murder. What was the numbers? I need to remember the numbers. <gasps> okay. The end call for the game. Seven, nine, two, one, five, two. Seven. One what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Seven, nine, two, one, seven, nine, two, one, five, two. I guess that's the code. Yeah. Just seven, nine, one. No. Seven, nine, two, one. Two five two. Okay, let's uh, calm down and re remember seven nine two one uh, nine. No, no, no. Um, seven nine one after that. Two one more yeah five one uh, no 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 more the yeah five two five two yeah okay access granted nice we did it we got the access Oh, looks like you have successfully opened the secret passageway. Ah, oh, thank you, man. We did it, we did it. I'm genius. Well, I'm not that genius, to be honest. Okay, guys, don't make fun of me because I said that. Anyway, we did find it. I'll leave a like for that. We did find the passageway. Well, do you guys want me to continue the game? And continue the story? Please leave a like and subscribe. Comment. Tell me what game should I try next. And until then, until the next video, bye bye. Thank you for watching.